How are you? How old are you? How fast can a cheetah run? Do you know how to translate each of these sentences that we just heard into Spanish? You might have some trouble translating the word how because there's several different ways that we can translate this word from English into Spanish depending on the context. So how do we translate the word how from English into Spanish? That's what we're going to see in this lesson right now. Hi guys, I'm Philly, your Spanish teacher from IdiomaPro.com, the fastest and most fun way to learn Spanish. Remember that if you guys like this lesson, don't forget to subscribe to see a new video every week. So how do we translate the word how from English into Spanish? The first way is if we're talking about a quantity. That means if in English you want to talk about how much or how many there is or there are of something, we're going to translate how much or how many into Spanish with the word cuánto. Cuánto changes in form based on the gender of the object you're talking about and if the object is singular or plural. So, for example, how much money do you have would be cuánto dinero tienes? We use the form cuánto in front of dinero because dinero is a singular masculine noun. How many people live in the United States? ¿Cuántas personas viven en los Estados Unidos? Here you can see that the form of cuánto changed to cuántas to match personas. Personas is a plural feminine noun. The second way that we frequently use how in English is to talk about the mode or manner in which something is done. In these cases, we're going to translate how into Spanish by using the word como. For example, how do you get to school each day? ¿Cómo llegas a la escuela todos los días? How do you say hello in Spanish? ¿Cómo se dice hello? In Espanol. I don't know how the cat got up here. No sé cómo el gato llegó hasta aquí. Notice that when como is used as a question, it has a tilde. A third way that we use how in English is to talk about the extent or the degree of something. So if I want to talk about how tall, how far, or how big something is, there's a variety of ways that we can say this in Spanish. One of the most common ways is by saying que tan, followed by the adjective or adverb. For example, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? Que tan alta es la Torre Eiffel? We can also say que altura tiene la Torre Eiffel? How far do you live from here? ¿Qué tan lejos vives de aquí? Or we could say, ¿A qué distancia vives de aquí? How big is your house? ¿Qué tan grande es tu casa? In these examples that we just saw, instead of using ¿Qué tan? We could also use ¿Cuán? ¿Qué tan and ¿Cuán mean the same thing? But ¿Cuán is a little more literary, has a little more formal appeal to it. I personally don't use cuan very much, but it might be something that you guys encounter in your Spanish studies. You guys might have also seen lo plus an adjective used to mean something like how big, how fast, or how far. We use lo plus the adjective instead of que tan plus the adjective when we're using reported speech. So to back up a second, let's talk first about what is reported speech. Reported speech is when a person is talking about someone or something else and there's a change of subject in the sentence. Let's see a couple examples to see what I'm talking about. I know how important this is to you. In Spanish this would be Yo sé lo importante que esto es para ti. Here you can see we have two different subjects. I 
and later on in the sentence, this. And in between the two, we have the word how. In these cases, we're going to translate how by using the article lo plus the adjective. I saw how well you played in the concert. Yo vi lo bien que tocaste en el concierto. Here we have the same thing. We start off with the subject I, and later on, we have you. In between the two, we have the word how. Once again, we translate how in between these two subjects by using lo plus the adverb. Do you know how dangerous this city is? ¿Sabes lo peligrosa que es esta ciudad? Here we start off by saying you, and later on have the subject this city. And we have the word how in between the two subjects. So we translate how by using lo plus the adjective. Notice that the adjective peligrosa ends in an A to match the noun ciudad. A fourth way that we use how in English is to ask somebody's opinion or perception of something. There's two main ways you're going to see this translated into Spanish. For example, if you're in an informal situation at a restaurant, you might ask, how's the coffee here? In Spanish, you could say something like, ¿Qué tal el café aquí? Do you want to say, I can't go today. How about tomorrow? In Spanish would be, no puedo ir hoy. ¿Qué tal mañana? ¿Qué tal in front of a noun is a very informal way to ask someone's opinion about that object or situation or thing. Another way to solicit someone's opinion is with the verb parecer. I can't go today. But how about tomorrow? No puedo ir hoy. Pero ¿qué te parece mañana? How does spaghetti for dinner sound? ¿Qué te parece spaghetti? Para la cena. Okay, so we just saw four different ways that we use how in English and how we can translate each one of those cases into Spanish. But there's even more cases. There's a lot more different ways that we use how in English. And some of these other ways don't always have a direct translation into English. So in those cases, remember that when you're talking in a new language, when you're learning a new language, the idea isn't always to translate word for word. It's more important to think about how to express a similar idea in Spanish than it is to worry about translating everything word for word. So let's see a couple examples of what I'm talking about. So let's take the sentence, how often do you call your parents? What we could do is reword the phrase a little bit in English. So instead of saying, how often do you call your parents, we could say, with what frequency do you call your parents? This may sound a little unnatural to say it like that in English, but when we put it like this in English first, it has a nice little translation into Spanish. We could say, con que frecuencia llamas a tus papas? So by rewording the sentence a little bit, we can express a similar idea without having to worry about translating word for word. How come you didn't tell me sooner? Here, how come in English could be changed to simply why? And we know that why, translated into Spanish, is por qué. Por qué no me lo dijiste antes? I'm good, how about you? This is an interesting case here because the best way to translate how in this sentence is simply get rid of it altogether. In Spanish, you'd probably hear the translation done as something like, Estoy bien. ¿Y tú? So here in Spanish, it's basically just omitted. How soon can you get here? Instead of saying how soon, we could also say, What's the earliest you can get here? Which in Spanish would be translated as, ¿Cuál es lo más temprano que puedes llegar? So to finish the lesson, we're going to return to our three examples that we saw in the very beginning of this video. And we're going to see now how well you guys have learned the lesson if you were paying attention, because now you are going to have to translate them into Spanish. How are you? So what's the translation of how into Spanish? 
for this sentence. In Spanish, we would say, ¿Cómo estás tú? We use como to ask about conditions, form, manner of doing something, etc. Our second sentence was, how old are you? How can we translate this into Spanish? Remember that to say someone's age in Spanish, we're literally asking them, how many years do you have? So we're asking them about the quantity of years. So in Spanish, we would say, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Remember that cuántos matches in gender and number with años. And our third example, how fast can a cheetah run? Here we're asking about degree. So we could say, ¿Qué tan rápido puede correr el guepardo? We could also use cuán in this instance as well. And a bonus question for you guys. How can we translate, do you know how mad I am right now? I'm not really mad, it's just an example, so don't worry. So to do the translation here, the first thing to notice is this is an instance of reported speech because I started off by saying, do you know? And later on I said, I am. So we started off with the subject you, later on we mentioned I. In between the two, we have the word how. So do you guys remember what we do when we have reported speech with how in the middle? We use the article lo. ¿Sabes lo enojado que yo estoy ahora? Okay guys, that's the lesson for today. I hope that you'll leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought and if you have any questions that I can help you with. If you guys leave me a question or a sentence that you're having a hard time translating into Spanish, I'll do my best to give you an explanation or a translation. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next lesson. Ciao!